You're watching a special web presentation of Channel 9 Eyewitness News Online. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Brandi Becker. There's controversy surrounding an upcoming Sioux City School Board election and now candidates are speaking out saying more factors could determine the election than simply the votes in the ballot box. In tonight's top story at 10, Channel 9 Eyewitness News reporter Adam McCauley is live in the newsroom with the very latest. Adam. Four candidates, two days until the election, one big concern, controversy, and it all starts with this email sent out on Friday. They're passionate elections, you're dealing with kids, you're dealing with education, um, so we see quite a few actually complaints in this area. That's how an Iowa ethics campaign leader describes school elections, and the upcoming Sioux City School Board election signs no exception. An email sent out by a teachers union supporting two candidates is where it all started. Officials say against state election rules because school-owned computers were used to send them to teachers and staff all over the district. Corrective action was taken immediately by the district superintendent, but that's not where the concerns end. One candidate says Woodbury County's auditor serving as treasurer on candidate John Meyer's campaign cries foul play. If you were playing, say, a baseball game and your opponent's coach was the umpire and that's kind of how I'm seeing this situation that uh, there could be it just brings up some questions. It probably is not a good idea for him to serve as a as a treasurer of, of you know a campaign and at the same time oversee the process. I think it's kind of silly. State campaign ethics leaders say campaign laws don't speak to this situation. That means Gill supporting Myers isn't violating any laws. Is this election going to be fair if you're involved with the campaign and running the election? Well, there's nothing uh, that is uh, secret in our office. Gill says it's precinct officials, not him, that are in direct contact with ballots, ruling out any chance of tampering. But he says campaign concerns remain about Betzold and Carlin's affiliation with the Cornerstone Faith Center. Folks are getting receiving phone calls and saying that uh, to vote against uh, those two uh, candidates is going against uh, going against your church, so uh, those are the type of things that uh, people should be concerned about. In this situation, it's been brought out to the voters about some potential issues, and now the voters can, can kind of weigh things out on both sides. Consider the facts and, and you know, vote for who they think is going to uh, represent the best interests of their kids in the school system. That's the right we've been given in our democracy and it's certainly a right uh, to be exercised in each and every election. The fate of fact versus fiction that rests on the shoulders of voters on election day. Both Betzold and Carlin say they don't believe John Myers or incumbent Walt Johnson had any knowledge that the email was sent. Now state ethics officials say while they'll investigate these campaign concerns, the most they can do is reprimand or find someone, but can't overturn the results of an election. All right, Adam, thank you. Now, state ethics officials say it could take months of fact-finding before a board can make its decision about the controversy. Meanwhile, polls will open to fill those two seats on the Sioux City School Board on Tuesday.